Hey kiddos, uh, we're, this video is for n homework 9-3, more multiplying fractions and whole numbers. Um, I would suggest that you take some time and you read over the three steps, okay? But I said I was going to do one through four with you. 26 times 3 fourths is the same thing as saying 3 fourths of 26. So you put the fraction over, you put the whole number over 1. So number 1 would be 26 times 3 all over 4, because 4 times 1 is 4. So you're going to need to do side math. I'm just going to use my trusty calculator over here. That will help me. 26 times 3, and that is going to be 78 over 4. And then this is an improper fraction. We need to convert it or rename it to a mixed number. You need to ask yourself how many times 4 goes into 78. Again, that calls for some uh, side math. I'm just going to punch it in my computer. And that is not, um, 19 and a half. Okay, let's go to the next one. 9 times 7. We put the whole number over 1, all over 10. 9 times 7 is 63 over 10. I really don't know how I can do this mentally. 10 goes into 6, 60, uh, 63, 6 times, and with 3 left over. All right, let's go to the next one. Put the whole number over 1. Double 32 is 60, um, sorry, it'd be 2 times 32 all over 5, and that is um, 64 over 5, and we know that 5 does not go into 64 evenly, so that is going to be 64 divided by 5 equals, that's going to be, I'm going to probably have to do some side math here, because I'm not exactly sure what the fraction is. Let's see, and 15 goes in, 5 goes into 15, 14 two times, and that is going to be 4. So it's going to be uh, 12 and 4 fifths. And the last one, put the whole number over 1, multiply the two denominators together, multiply the two denominators together. 24 times 3 equals... 72 all over 8, and this one does go evenly right into it, which would be 9. Go ahead and go back and circle all of my answers. And that is 1 through 4. Please do 5 through 15. It's 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15 on your own. And do not forget about the star on the back. Okay, good luck.